you know, it's funny. Um, you can always tell the people who love chaos. They're chaotic. Everything has to teeter on some kind of superior control to which they don't have. The illusion is a demograph, a demographic of, subsequently, a demographic of the ideology steeped and based in not just felonious behavior that we see acted out, pure lies. And they want to assert their lies as truth. It doesn't matter if it comes from hair, mentality, street, um, entrepreneur, business. It's all hostile, therefore chaotic. And you would think, but one would think or believe, not everybody thinks nor believes, but one would think or believe, if they're subjugating themselves to a, a lineage of order, why is it that they still hold on to ideologies that are a conscript of chaotic mannerism, behavior, that doesn't sustain. No, it won't sustain forever. Just because it's ongoing, because we dealt with it for some centuries, all lies. Oh, man. <laughs> and the most argumentative are the most chaotic. And how do people listen to those? I'll just put some some uh, backs in my hair. So excuse me. I'm trying to, you know, a little warm water. And, but anyway, I I am not confused by it. I I just look and say to myself, it would take one to know one, right? I've clearly stated that my life was chaotic for many years. You know, you ever share real information and people dismiss it, and yet they have no information to share. And you look at them and they keep pushing their lies. That's chaos. There is no order to that. Um, people who remain silent. I, I, just, I, I put a text up because I wanted to trigger the people who are so chaotic. With the hopes that someone would see it. Not because it's debatable. Because the reality is I don't care about liberals, conservatives, and all this bullshit. Yeah, I'm I stand by the founders of our foundation and what it was meant to be because there was order there. Obviously, and people, some people have a problem with Zionists saying that word. I don't. They existed for real, and it's not elusive, nor is it hidden to what they, how they conscripted blindly min, millions of minions, billions if not. People war and fight and they don't look at the underlying story. And the ones that see it are silenced or kept quiet. Um, people are afraid to die. And then, you, who ever saw that new Justice League, right? You see, Dark Side, Steppenwolf. It's funny how they use this shit, though. It's all a flip. But, they like to enslave and make people demons, right? Well, everybody, majority of everybody is enslaved and that, carry on like a demon, yet speaking like they're nurturing, carrying on and acting like they're in order. Again, you cannot pull chaos out of order and make order dissipate. Order is always established. It's always going to be there. It's the individuals, the people, once they hear this, that choose to remain chaotic. We don't have to be in chaos. We can come together, be together, and completely set aside irrational behaviors, erratic be um, mentalities, and become that union. But people are going to pick sides and choose from A to Z and not in order chaos they want reared govern all of us want reared govern or nurtured in order even though it's there because we can always step back into that path of order all you people that masturbate why about, how about stopping people that watch porn I say 
Google it without looking, you know, and, and, and so you mess the, the database and the AI up. But you don't have to do that. You can just go to a whole lot of other stuff. Look at Gore TV, this, that, and other, all the war, and this, that, and other. Overload, you'll see the stuff come back in all your lines, the games you play. They'll always put war games up if you're playing war games. I've seen it myself because I like playing war games, right? Well, how do you stop? You just stop. Or if you're strong enough, you continue continue to ravish their minds with their foolishness. Those who remain chaotic. And you always see it because people in their ignorance are always going to believe their disposition as if it is order. Many people have Minions, I speak of, have a problem with order, and yet they have not even walked in it. Yet it's always that beacon of, do I do this, do I do that? Order is always established. It's always there. Don't do it. Chaos, when you've been groomed and reared and nurtured in it, you make the bad choice. And then you have a system that punishes and it makes you more chaotic. The prison system, it's the slave system. The people that work there are chaotic. You have a few that are pretty decent. That's because they look more towards, without knowledge or knowing, towards order because they taste it, but they don't understand it. So you have all these guys in costume acting out because they feel like they can get away with it. There is no getting away with it. If you want to side with chaos and speak as if it's order, well, you've you've already created the detriment to yourself. You don't have to believe me. I'm not asking you to believe nothing I say. I'm asking you to give it a good hard look. Just like I'm I'm more or less a conservative, libertarian, um, based on ancestral ways. I believe in the second, the first, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all 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 you know, I believe in the constitution. Um because I know who wrote it. Not the lies. Um, You would think people would take a moment of their life, a moment in their life, to sit down and really reevaluate themselves. Many people say they do. I believe they some some do sit down and look, but they choose the lesser of two evils, which is still chaos. And I'm not saying I'm a righteous dude, man. But damn, with all the religious twerks and comings and goings, I seek more order in my life. And regardless of that, the chaos, the chaotic, they're gonna the ones who are steep deep in it, they're too non concerned with order. They're too busy with believing in the structure of the chaotic order to subjugate themselves to the truth of order because they have stepped so far away. Is that you? I see people who have a hard time believing we're Indians. And that's based, that's deep and based upon ignorance. Pure and utter ignorance that doesn't have to be there. They don't understand that we have the right to self-identify, yet they all do it, and all their identities are false. And if I call themselves Caucasian, it doesn't mean you're, you're, you're white, which is a fallacy. doesn't mean you're pale skin, because that's not the origin of them. Anybody running around talking about they black, you just continue to choose to be ignorant, to be chaos, and not do the research no better, because you've been living it for so long. The experiment that went to an experience, and now... You make it part of your life. We have no dealings. Because some chaotic person yells on a microphone, black power. Fool, get out of here. What, because somebody else did it? No, they knew. Some of them made it in their statement of speeches in the 60s. Experiment or experience. Why is it that you don't hear that and know that? Why don't you go and research it? Oh, maybe... Like Google, they've changed so much. But if you want to hold on to the narrative, you want to remain in chaos, it's your choice. Go right ahead. Some people can't get it beyond the scope of their mind. 
Well, it says the first Europeans arrived here in 14 what? That means who was here and who wasn't? If 1820, if the which called uh, 1628 Webster's Dictionary says the copper, once the copper color people were a native and now I belong to the, to the, uh, I guess I'm, I'm not saying it verbatim because I'm not reading it, but the children of, of the foreigners pretty much. They put movies out to tell you five points, you know, the rabbits and the so-called natives and. They're all just coming off of friggin' boats. <laughs> I mean, come on, people. Like, the dark side. And then you have the civilization of the Amazonians, uh, the gods, the old gods. While people travel all around the world, they call them the Hatta people, this, that, and the other, starving the the, the starving times, feeding and everything. Found the youth. We lived. We we lived very old, and they had to eradicate that history. But it's still in books, you know. When they came here, those people four or five hundred years old. But no, that had to be eradicated because they wanted to start murdering. And they were up to. He took petroleum and said, "Fuck the real medicine that keeps making us live longer and healing everybody." And started at the wars and wars and wars and started poisoning us. Then they knew they had to poison the water. They saw we were still strong, how we worked out in the fields, in the slave fields with those striped uniforms. Now we got people who are mil ex-military or military and put on down a blue uniform, black uh, police and this, that, and that, who are very arrogant in their ignorance. Business people, I'm doing better than everybody, so my voice means something. Oh, I belong to this lodge or that. And what I say is, that, you know, when I last checked, them, the same people saying nobody's better than nobody yet. Because they're so chaotic, they carry on in that way, in that fashion. You know, I did more fighting in the friggin' military, physical, than I did when I was civilian. When I was growing up as a, you know, not civilian, I hate that word, but on my soil as a pup. Did a lot of fighting then too, though. But in the military. Bruh, it wasn't a week that went without me fighting physically. I just got, I became really, really good at it. And oh well, that's not ego. I'm not challenging nobody. It's not a lot of people run around like they fucking Iron Man or Black Panther. No, no, no. Um, we're not even, we're nowhere near as tough as we truly are. But in chaos, we'll never, how, we'll never arise to that occasion. Imagine if we were together and we all got together and we put our minds together with our argument. That's what they want to keep from ha happening. Do you know what it's like to walk outside and put your feet, bare feet on the ground and allow your head to be touched by the, the sky, the heavens around you and to allow yourself to lift? Even if it's so-called metaphorically. To feel the two, to know the connection as above, as below. Not so below as be written. I can't wait for some of you people. You know, I, I can't wait for some people to come and visit and just hang out and listen and try some new things. I was thinking about moving to Texas, be close to a lot of people I know, but I'm here, and I'm not going to move from here no time soon. Um. I've had visitors come and they just, and, and I tell them, be quiet, don't say nothing. And, they, and they're still growing. And you won't hear them talk about it. Because I says, keep it to yourself because it, it takes a little while. Some fast, some slow, I don't know. Before people can grasp or understand it, it is a, a walk. I don't like the word faith. It is a walk that if one chooses, they must take in order to have understanding. And even then, it's still complicated because you're going to feel difference. You're going to feel something new. It's, it's very brash and it's, it attacks the vile, the jinnah, the darkness in you. It attacks it. And it's very uncomfortable and it's very, yeah, not no fear. Don't have no fear. Please stop being scared. Stop. You're afraid to die for the right things. 
a lot of ancestors weren't. A lot of y'all, effeminate men, manly women. What the fuck is that? That's chaotic. But they've made everybody believe in another. So it's accepted. I don't accept shit. I'm not out to harm those or them. But I don't accept shit. None of the foolishness. It's up to y'all.